All right, welcome back to uh, Bedside Ultrasound. We're going to continue talking about scanning modes, and uh, once again, we're just on the basics. So we're going to cover Doppler and Doppler effect. Uh, there are uh, several Doppler modes that you can use to scan. Uh, I mostly in the, use, in the ED use Color Doppler and Power Doppler. They're essentially the same thing, and then Pulse Wave Doppler. I don't use a lot of Continuous Wave Doppler. That's kind of a, a sexy, fancy way to use Doppler, but uh, I have not found... Uh, very much utility for that in the emergency department um, uh, at this time. So color Doppler relies on Doppler effect um, or Dopp Doppler shift uh, is what it can has been I've heard too. Um, essentially if you can imagine standing on the edge of a highway uh, and with cars speeding by or uh, by a train that's speeding by and when you hear the the train coming towards you the train has a higher pitch than when it passes you or the car does and is what happens is that as the train travels towards you it has a uh, higher frequency essentially the sound waves are compressed as it moves towards you it makes the, the frequency of the sound waves smaller and so you hear a higher pitch as it passes you then the uh, sound waves are stretched out and that causes a lower frequency and you hear that uh, deeper pitch as, as it goes by and so Color Doppler uh, relies on the same effect. Essentially, the uh, the probe is what it's doing is it's telling, um, it's it's interpreting the sound waves as they bounce back to it or bounce off structures, and the the machine receives back and telling it whether the sound wave has um, increased or decreased in frequency. And so, as what we see on the machine is we see what we call BART, uh, and we have um, essentially blue away or red towards. And so if we look at the probe, we place the probe up here, we've got a scale. So if we're going away, we've got blue down here and red comes towards. So if the flow of something comes towards the probe, it's going to be red. If it goes away, it's, it's blue. Now here, this is a little confusing. We see both blue and red going on, and that's because this is a pseudoaneurysm. Essentially, that blood is cycling uh, round and around in this structure. So let's go ahead and, uh, and we're going to kind of think of this concept here for a second. Um, with a little cartoonish drawing. So we have a car traveling away from us and we imagine that the ultrasound wave is shooting out towards that car. And as that car travels away from us, each point on the sound wave as it hits it is going to hit it at a farther point away. And so when the sound wave bounces off the car, essentially it has been stretched out as we see here. So the white sound waves come in and then we notice the blue sound waves are uh, farther apart. So these sound waves are stretched out and is, is what that tells the machine essentially is that there's a lower f uh, frequency and so it's able to interpret that and put that color on the machine on the ultrasound image here so is what we end up with is this so here we're over uh, the abdomen of a patient and we're looking at the aorta and if you notice the angle of this probe so we've got the probe marker towards the patient's head and then this towards the feet, but we've angled down towards the pelvis, and that's why we get this slanted view of the aorta. Now, we have, as we notice this, so this blood flow is traveling away, or traveling deep down at this angle away from the probe. So the probe sits here, and it's traveling down and away. So we get the blue uh, color flow put on there. And this is important that you don't, that you remember that Red and blue have nothing to do with what vessel it is. It has absolutely to do with only what the direction is in correlation to the probe. The, these machines are smart, but they are not smart enough to tell you what vessel, so don't, don't ever assume that. You just know that the blood is either traveling to or away from the probe. So in this example, we're angling towards the feet, and, so, and we get a blue uh, color because we're going away from the probe. That's part of our blue away, red towards. So now we imagine a car is traveling towards us. And if we shoot out a, a radar, an ultrasound beam towards that car, it's gonna, that sound wave is going to hit that car, and it's going to hit every subsequent part of the sound wave is going to hit it at a closer point. And so as it bounces back, it's going to compress those sound waves. That compression of the sound waves is going to create a higher frequency sound wave that returns to us. This is how uh, you know cops catch us all the time, speeding or not speeding. Um, the ultrasound machine is doing the same thing. It's just interpreting whether those sound waves have been shifted in any ways. And here, when we get our red towards, they've uh, essentially been made to be a higher frequency and the ultrasound uh, machine is able to interpret those. So as what we get on the machine is a red color. So in this example, we're on the exact same patient, but now instead of angling towards the feet, we've angled the probe uh, up towards the head. And so now 
the aorta is coming out this way and it's coming towards us. And so now we see that in correlation to where the probe's placed, this is coming at an angle towards it. And so this gives us a red color within the vessel. And like I said, this is the exact same aorta. Remember, vessels are, do not light up one color or the other. They're what depends on what direction the, uh, the blood flow is coming to or away from the probe. So before we saw it in blue, now we're seeing it in red. Now power Doppler, is a little bit more sensitive as a way to think of that. It does not tell us whether it's going to or from, it's just essentially interpreting whether that sound wave has had any shift in its frequency, whether it be a higher frequency or a lower frequency. And so sometimes that's good in really low flow states. Now we're on the aorta and it's not a low flow state, but we're essentially parallel to the probe, right? So because we're parallel, we don't often get colors to show up because we can't interpret it interpret if it's coming to or away from the probe. So in this case, we we aren't caring if it's coming to or away from the probe. We just wanted to see if it's color. So a lot of times on the machine, you'll hit your color Doppler button and then there will be an option to change it to power Doppler. And that's all we've done here. This becomes very useful in low flow states. I like it for uh, using it on testicular uh, ultrasound and um, gynecology ultrasound. Sometimes I'll use it around abscesses if I want to pick up flow. You can use it in GYN. Um, sometimes to pick up flow within the uterus. But uh, it's the same principle, but it's not going to tell you whether it's coming to or away from the probe. So hopefully that helps it be a little more clear uh, what color Doppler or and or power Doppler is, that it's essentially what the direction is towards the probes. Remember, this is not going to tell you what vessel it is. It is not going to, it's going to only tell you what the direction is in correlation to the probe. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks.